Okay, hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Got a quick unboxing for you uh, of this thing here, which is uh, it's by Genius, and it's a nicer dicer slicer plus, or nicer dicer plus, not slicer. And what it is is basically you can see what it is. It's a varying different types of chopping of fruit and vegetables. Uh, I got this mainly because I wanted to be able to use this one, this Mandarin one. The other one. Uh, uh, for that long I just decided to give up and I bought a new one. Uh, I bought this off eBay, I'll leave the description below where I got it from and also how much I paid and I paid roughly about £6 something for it including free delivery. A lot of people have griped on about uh, the copies of this and copies of that, I don't really know, I just bought it. You can't really go wrong at that price if it works. I'll do an unboxing followed by uh, a link on video just showing you these type of things if it's going to be worth it. And I, I mainly wanted it for uh, me me dryer, me uh, me fruit dryer for drying fruit, so I can use this one to slice it very finely, uh, banana and apple and things like that. But it's also really what I've seen of the videos of it uh, did handy for making salads and things. So what we're going to do is. Uh, it came just like this in the box in a plastic bag. It took a bit of a crushing just at the side, but there's no damage inside. I have opened it, but I'll put everything back. So let's have a quick peek inside uh, of what it comes with. So there's the lid off the top, just like a Tupperware lid. It's got a rubber seal all the way around. So it seems okay. It doesn't seem cheap plastic, it just seems the same plastic as you would get on a normal Tupperware tub. Some instructions which I'm not going to read, I don't really need instructions, and that's it in the box. Comes with a square part, and you can see all the parts inside. I am holding the camera with one hand, so you have to bear with me. So, this part of the top, which is incorporates the cutter, I'll show you that in a moment. I'm just going to show you what it comes with a peeler. Which is uh, actually got serrated edges on there and feels really sharp. And I can tell straight away that's going to work. It's just so sharp, like a razor blade. Uh, so, and that pivots. You can see more. So, that's going to work. It's got to. I'll try that later on. I don't know what these little side bits are for. Unless it fits into somewhere, but that's what the instructions for. So, that. And there's various forms of uh, chopping potatoes and salads and obviously you can see that one's a quarter. Uh, and that one, see how the blades are laid across? You can see that. And also the blades are serrated so it goes this way. And them teeth are like, literally like razor blades. And in fact that's what they are. Uh, and it looks like it's just heat glued across. So whether it's going to last or not, I don't know, but that's the test. It comes with that. It comes with some of these tops. That looks like it's a gripper to hold on to for when you're sliding it along the mandarin thing. There's a couple of raggy edges on there where you can see the plastic has come out of the mould, but you just use your finger and take them off. That doesn't bother me. Seems okay so far. It doesn't seem cheap plastic, it just seems normal plastic. That's some sort of holder for fruit, I think. Again, we'll have a look in there. We've got ourselves a cheap, like a grater in, in a cover. So it just pops off. It's a bit awkward one on, but you can see how it just clips on there. See the clips? Just pops over the front to protect it, so if it's in a drawer, you don't, uh, you don't hurt yourself. So that's that. That clips over the top. Again, at the end of this video, I'll, I'll make another one. Not today, but when I get all the fruit ready in the veg, and I'll try it. And we've got another chopper. You can see that one's a lot more fine, and that one's long pieces. So you can pick what you want, I mean whatever d design you want in your salad, how big you want the chunks, you can do that. There's a plastic tubware, just a normal container with rubber feet. Not wrong there. 
And this is really the, the bit I wanted, which is flower, which is this type of cutter. Um, she which just fits on. Oh dear. What am I doing wrong? Oh yeah, goes on the lid, obviously. Duh. So that fits inside the lid. So let's open this up first. Like I say, I don't read instructions unless I don't need it, and obviously I don't need it. So that fits on the top. You clip it on. Or you just. No, oh, no, it just sits on a link, doesn't it? Doesn't. Clips on gently. Oh yeah. Clips on. Just not very well. Okay, so actually this comes out. So there's even a smaller one now, which I didn't spot. So this was actually inside the lid already. So you've got three. You've got them two ones for the different sizes. Yep. And then the bigger chunks. And then these ones are really fine, as you can see. Chip size. So you make your chips. You can do all sorts of things. I take it this pops out. Yeah, it just clips into two little, there's two tiny little holes just there in the back end that just fits in there, as you can see. And it clips onto the front as well. Dead simple. And then I take it, this goes on that way. Yep. Just clips in like that. And take it, you take that out. That's just a protective cover, which is really nice. So you don't. Do yourself a mischief. Ah! Don't do that. Uh, really dangerous. But that's what I want it for. For when I do go use on my dryer, my uh, fruit dryer, it can make very, very thin uh, slivers of whatever fruit, like kiwi, like on there. The kiwi, so you can make. They're quite good to to dry. An apple and banana and things like that. And as this goes, I'll just take this back out again. Too far away, and I think this. Yeah, that slides along there. Either which way, that way, probably. And as you can see, slicey, slicey. When it gets thin, but if it's big, you can probably just do it. But when it gets down to a certain depth, that's up to your choice to make sure you're safe. So. Again, six pounds this was. And there's a little finger thing to pull. Don't put your fingers there in case you slip. It just clips it in there, done. Uh, obviously with two hands, this is a lot easier, but I'm just doing it with one. So if you can do it with one hand, it's going to be a lot easier with two. So if, say for instance, I wanted to chop uh, these, this one, I'll do this one. Pop that in, put the back end in first, and then just push the front down, that's it, done. And then you can see on the top there's a button. When you push that button, it actually goes into the smaller holes. So it won't work for this one, but it will for this very, very fine one. As you can see, there fit into there. And then you push that button down. Not working. Uh, don't know why it's not working. What am I doing now? Go down like that. I must be catching. Yeah, I don't know. Might have a different one. But anyway, uh, that's supposed to fit into them holes. It's the correct way around. Uh, it's, one of these must be catching on, on it for some reason. I think it's so it can just release. If you if any stuff gets stuck into that um, slots, you can push that up to to get it out. I think that's what that's for. Anyway, I'm not too bothered about that. I didn't buy it for that, but it, it won't go down for some reason. It's probably not aligned exactly right. I probably once. It'll be a little tiny bit catching on there or something. Uh, but I'll look into that later on. But I don't think it's a big problem. So, uh, that's it really. What I'm going to do, and that's what you get. So you get three of those. 
two of them. That's a little cover, which hold on. That's a little cover, which you can block. Block that off. Must be for there. I don't know. I don't know. That's all it came anyway. So that's what you get with it. You get the tub and three of these different size slices. Uh, a very fine slicer, a lid so you can put it all in. Uh, one of these so you, you don't damage your fingers. And this one looks like it's for holding like a, like a large fruit or something. But I don't know, I'll look in the manual for it. And a grater. In this part of the video, I've cut myself a little bit of fruit. It's the only thing I've got in there. Some uh, watermelon. So I've cut some watermelon up, just a few little bits. I don't want to do it too much. Uh, and I've got a couple of apples. And I've also got some cheese to grate. Try that on the, on the cheese grater. And we can also do uh, all sorts really. T potato, uh, anything really. Anything which is a bit more, like, a bit more stiffer. Uh, I wouldn't recommend trying to grate uh, mango and things. I don't think that's going to work. So what we're going to do is, I've got this, I've just had a little go and it chops them up into that size. And what we're going to do is put a few of these in, see whether it works. So I want to go for this size segment and it does fit into there. So the old, I would, you've got to push it before if it gets stuck really. But I think them ones would work good as well. But that's they look okay. So we just bring it across, push it down. Done. Easy peasy. Perfect. Next one. The main thing is getting the right size. So that's a bit too big really. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, cut that in half. If I can. If I can do it with one hand and I can't. So I'm going to have to use some. So that's the main thing, making sure you don't get it bigger than the square. So we'll cut it in half. There you go. Face some of these. So I've got two options. I could just do it by hand. Uh, or I could use the supplied grip. I'm just going to do it by hand for the time being. I'm going to have to rest my hand on here because I need two hands to hold the base. So. So it's working okay. Just a bit awkward with one hand, that's all. You have to hold it and Yeah, it's it's going nice and thin now you can see some of the thin slices. Uh, not brilliant, I must admit, for this one. Uh, but it's working. I think you need to hold it and, and push down a bit harder. So you're pushing down and angle. So I need a little bit more. Uh, but it's working. Let's try another, another one. You see the slivers? Just as thin, as thin as you want. And also it depends on the type of fruit. If the fruit's a little bit mushy, you're going to struggle uh, to do that. Let's try the smallest one, which is that. So if you're going to use that, you've got to put it on that side. And if you're going to use the other one, uh, so fits on. Let's try another apple. See if we can do do the small part. So let it fall on. One, two, three. That was a bit harder. Ah, uh, so what's happened? What's happened there? It's pushed out. So, there was, was a lot of pressure there, so I'm glad I stopped. So all I was going to do is just force out and bust the, bust the things. So you're going to have to take some of these bits off. And uh, get it through. So don't just keep forcing it. So that's, that's the first fault I've done. Once there's, once there's got space at the sides, it went straight through, so you don't want to put two things in too big. 
and that snap you can hear is just as it goes through it just hits the which is what you want really a nice snap done yeah and as you can see I'll open it up it's really hard on this my fault for being such an idiot there you go so now you've got pieces as lot as small as that and then uh them ones were the big chunks if which was uh that one I think oh no sorry that was that one that was that one which is quite quite large chunks <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me so yeah it's uh it's doing all right nice and fine I'm happy with that that does me for the price you can't really grumble let's have a go at uh, oh, that's all I've got really so what I'm going to do now is uh, grate a bit of cheese so I'll have to empty this out so just bear with me for two seconds and I'll be back hey guys uh, I've just washed this now cleaned it out and I'm going to do some cheese just see if the cheese grater works uh, there's the, all the chopped bits in there which is off the apple, mini all apple there's a bit of mango at the bottom oh, that's mango but uh, it's really soft stuff so it's working really good really happy with all these bits I haven't decided on this bit yet because it seemed a bit I even put my fingers on there, it doesn't seem that sharp that should be like a razor blade yeah, I mean I'm confident to do that, it's not cutting me. Looking at the base of the blade, there's a bevel on it. What I'll do, if it doesn't work for me, if because that really should be like a razor blade, really. I'll take the blade out and I'll just uh, sharpen it up. And I'll just uh, thing it back in. So it should, it should not do that, I'm not suggesting you do that. It's a shame because these are all literally like a razor blade. These are all sharp, you can't get no sharper really. Look, looking at that, you can see. Can you see that? They're not serrated, uh, they're not serrated, but the, the bevel edge, so they're sharp. But these things are like really sharp. Same goes for them, they're serrated. Oh, let me see. Don't think it's focused, but anyway, they're all serrated. Trust me. So we're gonna try some cheese, and then we're gonna do a final verdict. Just bear with me while I hold this thing. So I think you can see there. So it's really easy to easy to use. Just uh, a grater, what Mark said. I'll grate a little bit. I mean, no effort, it's effortless. So this, this was working really good. You can see I'm not putting a great deal of effort in. It's just, just trying to hold it so you can see. Just rolling that forward. Hardly any effort. There you go. Okay. Don't need to do any more than that. That just drops in that, that just drops in so there's no... There is little clips, but doesn't really need it, but it can't go anywhere. Yeah. So that's that, that works great. There's a cheese. Oh, wow. Nice long strips. Mm. So, uh, excuse me, I'm just eating around that. So that's working great. So this is a nicer dicer, plus. Okay, would I recommend it? Uh, 100% definitely yes I mean there might be better ones out there and the one which broke and I, I only had this part of the one I had was just this so I just held one of these and I just sliced it but I wondered I thought for the price you're getting this and everything else so this is the only thing I'm not happy with it uh, I mean my finger should be bleeding now I should be slicing skin off by just uh, so I'm going to pop this out, I don't know how to take it out, 
take it, it's just pushed in and clipped in from the sides. But what I'll do is I'll, I'll uh, see if I can put, uh, hone it up. And it might be alright, it seems like the edges down here seem a bit sharper than that. But, yeah, I mean, if you have something which is like stiff, but uh, the softer material is a little bit harder. But there you go, six pound, uh, definitely worth the price. Uh, and that's all really. If you like this, please like, please subscribe. Any comments, leave in the section below. Thanks for watching guys, appreciate it.